Well, a very good morning to you. Welcome to Natasha Makes. Uh, it is Stitchy Witchy Wednesday or Workshop Wednesday, well, or just Wednesday if you prefer. You pick, you choose, it's up to you. But we are here this morning. Jane is, of course, here. I was going to say our resident witch, but that doesn't <laughs> <laughs> quite right. Is that kind of a show? <laughs> Sorry, Jane. Okay. Sorry. Stitchy witch. I forgot the stitchy <laughs> bit. Stitchy witch bit. Um, but no, I've she's been called here. worse. Well, I know, but you know. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> so she's here today. She is bringing the professionalism to the show mm, this week. It might be debatable today. <laughs> It's been one of those weeks. Um, I'm blaming. I'm blaming the fact that we're trying to move and everything else yes, as well. That's that's bit. what I'm doing. We're Honestly, a bit it's giddy, like moving aren't we? house. Yeah. It's like moving house. All but we're also excited. and everything. off. Oh, anyway, um, boring stuff you don't want to know about. So, but what you do want to know about this morning is this. It is so huge. Uh, we can't actually fit it all on the set. No. It's just it's such a proper a bed quilt, isn't it? It's a proper yeah. full fries quilt. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, beautiful. without doubt. Um, so the top half is echoed below. So these beautiful fans are then echoed down the bottom. So it's reflected either way. So it's a beautifully balanced one. This is, of course, by Lisa Chandler. What's its name? It's the Colton Gardens. That's it, Colton Gardens. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes, it is very lovely indeed. So if you would like to get this, we have got four different colourways. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Uh, we we're only going to do three. And um and then we got a little bit sidetracked, not gonna lie. We found another bolt and yeah. went Oh. Oh. It happens mm. here quite a lot. It does a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. Covered with beautiful fabric. <sighs> We're never going to get cold, are we? That's no. for sure, with all these quilts hanging about. Should we see who's with us, Jane? Let's, Let's have a look, do shall that. We? Turn the volume down. I, don't, I still don't like hearing my own voice. No. I it's, don't. it's not it doesn't it's not I'm sure it's not me. Pretty sure. Morning, Myra. She says, hi all from a sleepy Myra. Oh, we're a bit too loud. Shh, Myra's Myra. sleeping. Morning, Heather. Keep whispering now. Morning, Grace. Morning, Sean. Morning, Karen. Uh, we are all well. Thank you, Karen. Yes, we are. Are you having a lovely, a lovely week? She's just celebrating. Yes. Hello, Karen just celebrates everything. Yeah, why Perfect. not? Yeah, why not? Uh, morning, Doreen. Morning, Rona. Um, Morning, says Lo. I'm pretty sure she, she sings it. I'm pretty sure she sings it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, these are today's kits. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, I Actually, I don't know if she sings it at all, to be fair. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, all righty then. Do you want to see the kits first? Or, oh, hi, Naomi. Do you want to see um, Half Meet Heavens for tomorrow? Ooh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, Lo's got someone at her door. Oh. Somebody ringing the bell. Well, I don't know. They might be knocking. Who knows? Um, <laughs> Do us a favour and let them in, as um, <laughs> Wings would say. Exactly. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> oh, you'd be good on a pub quiz, Jane, wouldn't you, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Name that tune. Ooh. I went oh, a bit rogue on yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Bit, there's um, a few that Natasha doesn't know about. She'll be like, "Oh." <laughs> so I got to I got to there and left and left the others to be paired. Um, and so this is going to be a surprise for me because I had to take my car down to the garage because apparently cars do actually require brakes. Yeah, funny that. Who <laughs> knew? And tyres um, that we've and tyres. I know. And when it turns <laughs> around and says ABS not working, failure. I'm like, oh. Okay, so that's what I've been doing this morning. Oh, you're getting all the fun gossip this morning, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> morning, Elizabeth. Morning, Christine. And morning, Oriel. Oh, oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who loves the, the hippo? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> um, right, let's have a little looky, looky, look at these. Um, right, so because, because, because we've got a lot of Lisa Chandler on the show today, we thought we'd, you know, add more. Yeah, spoil you. Yeah, exactly that. Spoil you. Spoiling you. So, do you remember the dragon? The dragon. This needs to be a bag, doesn't it? It really does. Oh, it's so rich and sumptuous. Oh, Julia says that's today. Earworm sorted. Um, our pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Jane has put this with, let me just see here. <clears throat> Summer Palace Dragons Gold! Um, with Makawa spray time in black. Oh, smart. Yeah, I 
thought, very I, smart. I couldn't find a plane that did anything with it. And no, then I thought, let's you go just need something a bit. Mm. You thought out of the box, didn't you? Mm, I you did. used your initiative I and did. all those sorts of things that we like. Well done. Thought, that sounds so patronising. <laughs> no. But the Macau, because it's the spray time and it's just softer. Yeah, you've got that, so stark. that detailing in there. Yeah. It's a bit gorgeous. Now, okay, so you'll see that we're kind of running on a Summer Palace theme here, this, oh, apart from the Christmas fabrics there. Um, summer Palace theme. So bear with us because we have got... Oh, nice. Oh, you've, we were looking for a gold yes. that went that picked out um, that from there. And Oh, yeah, Linen Effect Y22. Well, why not? Yeah, it's got is no name on it, but it's a yellow. It's in the yellow palette. It is, and it pulls out, it pulls out that. It's got a greeny tone to it as well. So I thought now, quite just nice. bear in mind that we have, we've really thought about these today. And I'll show you for why as we go along. Um, oh, morning, ladies. I'm lacquered, said Claire. Well, you know. Oh, uh, dear. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Four-year-old was talking in his sleep and woke us up at least three times in the night. So if they don't have enough to say during the day, yeah. they then have to go and say it all talking at enough. night as well. Um, yeah, now I feel your pain. Emily's just a little wriggle monster. She never stays where you put her at all. Oh, nice. With gold. With gold. With gold. Yeah. Well, Dragons with purple gold. being the opposite to the yellow side well, of it, the Well, yeah, spectra. it does, doesn't it? So it's complementary. Mm. But here's the thing, because what we also have for you are the fans. Fan of the fans. Oh, it's these dragonflies. Look at them. They're absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Now, we've put this, weirdly, with lemon. Again, because we're keeping that colour range going we're pulling out the colors that are from there and also highlighted in dragons dragon flies even but also if you happened you know to go for a couple <coughs> then you've got colorways that start to really meld and work together and then 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 jane mm -hmm. if you want to bring in the basket weave that's echoed throughout all of this and maybe put it with that or put it with any of these we've put that with cream <laughs> so you'd then have three gorgeous shades going around there um as well as the gold echoed it just we've i mean like we've really we, we have really it. tried to you know we, so complement that, it all of them so because we wanted together. yeah we wanted it to be standalone so that it absolutely was knockout um, but also, if you were buying because you want to make any kind of quilt and you need that extra fabric, then we wanted it to be so that they would they would work as teamwork, fabric teamwork. That's yep. what we're looking Makes at, isn't it? Makes the dream work. That, all of that. We've got that here, Jen. We've got that. Uh, this is cream and the wicker, sometimes wicker. Um, and this is the thing. This is why, this is exactly why we do Half Me to Heavens here. Because... Each one of these has a slightly different shade. Um, but if you look at it on a screen, you'd just go, oh, I'll have ivory. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. no we can do so much, pale, yeah. so much better than that. So much better than that. This me. one's with cream. Have you, are you all starting now as well, aren't you? So these two are both with cream. But um, we put, you know, this one going... It would have been really easy to put that with cream as well, but we didn't. We've gone that shade deeper. But it would all, you know, it all works in well together. And then, you see, I, I love this one. Oh, look at this. I mean, yeah. That's beautiful, that one. It really is. So, here's the thing. You could pick out your greens. You <coughs> could pick out those you could of course pick out that and actually your dragons will work through there as well because there's so much opulent gold going on through there so that's why we have been really 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 careful with how we've done these really careful because we want you to be able to create and develop um, a palette that's going to all work you know, there's no point in us putting things from the same collection together. Oh, and that's the colour it's actually coming with. Um, and then not, you know, not make it absolute... I'm going to say knockout, Jane. Yes. 
Yes. That's what it's all about. It and that, is. That's just red, isn't it? But it's, it's just it's red, the right but it red. just works because, look, by the time you start to introduce it with that, it picks out the, the highlighted part of the basket weave. Bear with me because the other thing, if you're going red colourway, you might want to just consider tomorrow when you get these live at midnight would be, of course, the blossom, the cherry blossom with, wait for it, sage so we then start to get to a situation where if you're going for this as well you've got the red that's pulling in there that's pulling in here that's pulling in there that then is bringing in the green that is then in of course within these greens here through here <coughs> and starts to bring everything together it's like we it's know what like we're doing we, yeah, and like uh, we we've thought it. about it isn't it <laughs> you know just because we can like But actually, do you know? Yeah. That's not bad either, is That's it? It's a bit lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, it's win, winnity win, always round, I think, this morning. Um, and if you've never, ever played with Lisa Chandler fabric, um, just give it a go because I think that you will be really impressed just with the full quality of it. The base cloth is just is divine it barely frays you know some mm. cottons you're just working with you go oh come on come on come on but it's just so tightly woven it's so beautifully put together um the colors the the place that lisa gets these the mill that she gets these printed at is just sublime and they do this spray thing in between it's got this beautiful it, such a beautiful yeah, depth. depth and the very color. very last screen that's printed is always the metallic so you've always got this glistening, glistening metallic. And there just is not another designer out there like it. There just I isn't. Found one, eh? There isn't. Believe you me, we've searched. And there is not. It's so we are beautiful. very proud here at Natasha Makes to be the home, the UK home of Lisa Chandler Fabrics. Um, if she's watching, she'll never get her head through the door now, will she? Uh, we've got eight of these. That is it. But again, if you wanted to pull through your greens you've got that with your navy and then if you want to bring in ah, uh, now you see we went with vanilla here because that goes so beautifully with that back base cloth there yeah it's and got a bit more of a yellow tone to it it does it's just a shade softer and we really really loved that um oh 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 hang on what else have we got though oh yeah we were really careful with this weren't we jane because here you go the other option doesn't have green it's just the blue so you can see this one's got your green detailing in here. Same fabric with, with the blue. Um, and this one we put with Copen, which means that if you want to go there, you've got that. But if you did want to buy that as well and mix in a little hint of that green, you would then have all of those blues and creams. It's stunning. It's just stunning. It's a beautiful fabric. It's a beautiful collection. It really it is, is, isn't it? It's a lovely collection. It really you is. You can really mix and max mix and match the patterns with and you know you very very simple to use this would act as a panel in its own right so if you're not sure then just sash it with a couple of other colors job done bish bash bosh yeah. as they say uh i'm full of technical terms today jane you'll be <laughs> pleased to know ah now here we go so if we're pulling back the reds again then look this time we've gone for a slightly deeper shade there but look you see what we then end up with is if you want to use those it's going to pull those greens if you want to use those it's going to brighten it <coughs> with a cream we've really thought about this we really had quite a lot of fun this morning so much so that um we really lost track of time <laughs> we did a bit we did a bit um i know yeah. you're a bit nervous about that jane uh, <coughs> we'll be fine we'll be, it's good i mean let's face it it couldn't possibly be worse than my demo yesterday <laughs> it was the demo of how not to do anything especially not live on air ever um but it also did highlight the fact that really don't just assume you can flip a pattern yeah. and it'd be okay yeah you really do have to think about it was the just the triangles yeah, yeah 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 and it just uh, but yeah. it, and we've all done it. We've all thought, oh, yeah, if I turn that round and do that, it will work that really be nicely. easy. No, nope, Doesn't it will not. Um, so this basket weave is going with that grey. It's school grey. I wish it wasn't called school grey because I it know. just sounds, but, but it's, it's a really it's nice grey. absolutely 
matches the grey because of the shading in that wicker there's such a subtle grey in there but it matches it perfectly it does so that's why i've gone with it <coughs> i've really got a throg it you could put that dragon with the gold and the black with that those three those two you could you? you could pull that in for sure absolutely for sure you could i mean you could pull with the black you could pull in the purple the gold whatever you wanted through there so that's what we're looking at today because you know yeah um if <laughs> i can't imagine that this would be the case but if there are some of you that you know that's not your thing <laughs> can i have got a few little other offerings for you this morning yeah but do also go back and have a little rummage. There might have been some that you've missed because they just, you know, they do fill up and we do yeah, have we odd do. ones have left one here and there. <coughs> this is the Woodland Walk. This is Natalie Lette for Anna Maria Horner. And you've just got all these different animals and uh, stags and flowers. It's really charming. And we've picked that blue. So this is candy blue that we've picked through just to brighten it and lift. So there we go. That is that. <coughs> That fabric's really deceiving because you look at it initially and you think, oh, it's a floral. And then as you look at it, there's all these animals hidden in it, which is rather quite Which sweet. is what a woodland should be like. Yeah. You know, they should be roaming around undetected. I saw a fox this morning on the way to work. Did you? It's just, he just walked across the road in front of me. And I was like, oh, good morning. We've got a glorious fox in our back garden. Yeah, and I know I watch his fox. run and I watch him come down and um, terrorise my ducks. <laughs> As he, he always walks past them. Uh, this is a moda. It could be used for Christmas. Yes. It's, it's got called that Marches colour. de Noël. It's a Three Sisters one. It is a Marches de mm. Noël. So, yeah, it's got that. But it doesn't have to be. <coughs> you could just use it as a ditzy. And, again, we've paired it with a green <coughs> or a red. Could you possibly you pass drink. me my drink? Now I've got something caught in the back of my throat. Bit of fabric fluff. Yeah, it's when it gets there, I don't know, it clings on, yeah. doesn't it, somewhat? And the more so you try not to cough, the worse it yeah. gets. And of course, we're also paranoid about coughing yes. these days as well. <laughs> yeah, and like, heaven cough. forbid if you cough in a public space anymore. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, and these guys. Now these... Oh, oh, Jane. Oh, I like what you've oh, done really there. I really with that You one. did, you did, but I like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, this has just been a fun <coughs> fabric, um, and I, I, yeah, I really love it. And uh, Jane has excelled herself by putting a mode grunge seeing stars tangerine with it. Yes and yes. Well, that simply works, doesn't it? Yeah, I could. Perfect. I was just like, it's made for it. <laughs> Absolutely. Would be wrong not to. And this, uh, again, we've got a little bit more of this. This is Lewis and Irene, but you've got these fabulous faces. This... I, I bought this at the same time. In fact, you were sat at the table when I did it yeah. because I knew that that would be a really difficult colour to match in any way. So I bought sort of a complementary that has sort of that in reverse. So and and I knew that I wouldn't have enough for an entire show. So I knew it would have to be half me to heaven. And I knew that that would be a little bit of a treat for you because it's gonna make, it should be more. That's going to be great for like makeup bags. Of course, or, you know, little of course. Tiny bags to give to friends or something. This type of fabric with the outline of the faces has yeah. been so on trend. Well, I was in Mox and Spencer's and they got t-shirts and I was like, oh, that's like the the yeah. Lewis and Irene yeah, yeah, fabric. Yeah, no, really it is. Uh, it super is. Super is. Oh. Yay, there we go. Right, I'm going to move these out your way, Jane, and I'm okay. going to let you... Uh, do your thing. Do my thing. Do your thing. But they're a bit gorgeous, aren't they? I hope you agree. And, um, oh, pumpkins. There we go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can see that going. Ah, <laughs> like, ah. Jane. Oh, 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 one last thing to show you. I have only got 15 of these. Only, that's all I've got. But for those of you that love Lisa Chandler, Pocket mirror. It's beautiful, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? There you go. That's under the Australian sun, and that is a little pocket mirror, and that is up. But wait, uh, only got fifteen. There you go. That's one five. By the way, I'm gathering me bits and bobs. See you in a second. Over to Jane. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. You're welcome. Good morning. It's a bit overcast here this morning. I was like, oh, it's a bit cold. I put my nice, floaty summery top on. 
Uh, right, Lisa Chandler's beautiful pattern, Carlton Garden. Lisa did it originally in the pattern. We've got the pink um, cream and um, teal. Silver. Pink, silver and ivory is the fabric. Get yes. there in the end. Yes. Mm. I mean, pick a, pick a collection, <laughs> any collection. <laughs> it's all good. There we go. We'll go overhead for go you. Go overhead. So that is the collection we've got that is as per the pattern. But we hadn't got very much of the um, panel. Look at that. It's beautiful. Um, so we haven't got many kits of this one. So we found the equivalent in our beautiful orange, green and ivory with the gold accents. Look at that. It's exactly the same fabrics, but in the, in the, in the cream, um, orange and green version, which is the one that I've made as the sample. You get all the fabrics that you need for the, to make the quilt. Um, it's all quite self-explanatory within the pattern. This pattern uses Lisa, well, it's Lisa's pattern, isn't it? And it uses, it shows, <laughs> it shows off the fabrics beautifully, doesn't it? Do you know this because is where it's sometimes when you get a pat, a, a fabric that's got such a, a, there's so many elements in this panel, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, that's more or less the repeat of the pa of the mm. panel. You've got the fans there, and then this it looks like a. a plate and, and then this one with this like is the, where the you get double bubble with Lisa yeah. because not only she's not just a fabric designer she's also a quilt designer as well yes. so when she's designing her fabric she already knows what she's going to do with yeah them. and she it just already has those ideas and, and it, it just, just shows shows the yeah. fabrics off yeah, beautifully yeah, yeah. You, you know when you get a fabric like this there's so many elements in it that you if you cut this into a traditional patchwork pattern you'd lose so much of the effect of the of the fabric. So this is this pattern is brilliant. If you've got a big bold print that you love but you don't actually want to cut into it because you'll spoil it, this pattern, this Carlton Garden is perfect because you've got that panel there and the two panels either side and it ju it'll just showcase your fabric beautifully. Now the thing that Lisa always says about her fabrics is that they work equally well with CAFE fabrics as well. So yes. with that in mind, we have got... We played. Mm, it would be fair to say we played. This. Look at this one. We've got um, Shaggy in blue. Look at those colours in there. I adore. That is going to look stunning. Yes. That's for the main panels where the panel fabric is. And then we chose the complementary, which is the small floral of Lisa's. We chose this one, which is, I can't remember which one it is. Guinea flower, Guinea flower in blue, cobalt. Get the colour names right. So that's for this, what repla is replacing the small floral. We chose the black to do the sashing. It just makes everything it pop. It makes it all pop, it? yeah. And then we've got, I've gone with, um, one of our new colours, Cloud, for the background of the fan shape. So I just thought that's soft enough and it just comp it's got a blue tone to it, so it complements yeah, the colours within there. Yeah, what we to put it with this morning and we went, oh, no, it's too blue. Yeah. And yet it just didn't look it on the shelf. It's Was one it of those when we were looking ones. at the black wicker? Yeah. Because we and said we wanted a grey and, and we put it with it and we were like, oh, no, that's gone all blue on us. <laughs> How very daring. How very but dare. here we salute its blueness. And then we chose these three colours mm -hmm. of the Aboriginal dot for the fans because, well, don't have to say, I do mean, I? It's it just pulled the colours from, yeah. from here beautifully and it works with the guinea fowl flower as well. I want to call it guinea fowl and I know it's not. And every I time know. I say, I'm like, no, guinea fowl. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think guinea fowl do have that speckledyness, yes, don't they? Yes, that's probably where it comes from, yeah. doesn't it? And I still can't spell guinea. It's just one, it's of, those one of those words, words I look at and go. Well, it's no good talking to me. Hello, about dyslexia. Belly there you are. It's just <laughs> can't. But sometimes well, some words just won't. Like that's. I know that's not right, but I don't know what the right way of spelling it is. So that's the one colour way. And then the other colour way. We really had oh, fun sorry, with I this put one. That there. Yeah. 
I love this. We've gone with the banana leaves. We certainly have. Again, because it's a spectacular pattern. Look at it. And it needs to be seen it in needs big to be. chunks. Can you imagine this? The panel, look at that. Wow. Look at that, that's gorgeous. And those colours in there. We chose they're so warm and vibrant and oh, rich. And they're really rich. And this just reminds me of me having a conversation with Kay for about my shoes. I'd had a pink top and orange shoes and I went, oh, I'm not sure if they clash. And he just looked at me and said, darling, pink is orange. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's like, fair play, I'm sticking with them then. I, I love do. orange and pink together. Yeah, I really I, like I, it. I really do. I really do. And so then with the these buttons are just made for this. They're just made for it. Because they've got that pop of purple and blue in there as well. Which is in here. So we've chosen that one to go instead of the small floral. Now then, sashing in purple. Wow. We just thought Rude that will really complement it. Not be in your face, but really pull it all together. Now behind the fans, we've gone white, just to pop everything really. And then we've pulled these three colors of the Aboriginal. We tried dog. grays, didn't we? We and did, and it was a bit meh. It's sort of <laughs> disappeared really <laughs> when you've got those colors yeah you just, you just need a bit of a contrast i think and so that lifts it and that will really showcase the fans um in the in the pattern so you've got the fans here on the pattern so that white is behind there and those three colors are in the fans as well as a bit of this and a bit of that so i think we're limited on the number of these cave well, particularly the banana leaf. I don't yeah. think there's many on of that one. Um, we've got a few more of, of this one. And uh, we're limited on the number of the pink. It's gonna we've got be quite a lot of stunning. the orange one. We're okay for that. So I have to thank my friend Amanda for squeezing me in and getting the, ki the quilt ki um, long-armed for me. She's done a stunning job. She we did sort of show a bit of the, the quilting yesterday. She has really um looked at the quilt and she's looked at the fabric and she's made she's picked a design that mirrors the fan shape it's a bit art deco -y, isn't it yeah it well it, she's looked at this fan shape within the fabric and she's um mirrored the quilting to do that and it just it looks stunning it really does so huge thank you to amanda at the, at the little quilt house for doing that for me because she's always she's so good and i'm like um fit me in for a quilt that I need next week and she's like I'm on holiday at the moment <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. get back I could get it and do it in for you just in a day it's like oh, you're a star. right let's have a look at some of these elements then within this in, in within the kit within the pattern we have got the fans so we'll talk about doing the fans first and then we'll do that little um squared panel at the side the fans um lisa gives you the template within the pattern for the fans um they are the same either side so really it's just the those four that you need a and b look the same but they're slightly different so trace them off and i've traced them off um, onto our template plastic um, you do need to add the seam allowance, which is easy to do with your um, ruler because you want to fussy cut if you can. That's where template plastic is, is a winner, isn't it? Yeah. Just win-win. Um, Lisa, I mean, it's all, Lisa tell, tells you everything in the pattern about the fussy cutting and everything else. It's one of my... That's why I have it on the floor. That's why I can't see it because on the floor because it's see-through. <laughs> <laughs> the downside. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Um, template plastic is brilliant to use. You've got like a rough side and a smooth side. When you're tracing off, trace off onto the rough side because it 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 stays. It's easier to use. But then when you're when you're using it on your fabric, place the rough side against your fabric and it just pre pre prevents that bit of movement. Um, so for the fans, um, make the templates A, B, C and D using the diagram on the back of the pattern. The diagram does not include the seam allowance, but that's okay. 
and then you need to trace um, 12 of each template onto your chosen fabrics. Now template A <coughs> is from the feature fabric so I'm going to use the banana leaves. So um, you try, you're going to have a massive piece of fabric. Now the first thing you need to do with your um, feature oh, you've fabric. Got three meters of it. I mean, yeah. it's, it's huge. It's a huge piece of fabric, but the first thing you need to do is you trim the salvage off and you cut your panel pieces from it, and you cut them along the edge of the salvage so it's following the pattern. It's all in the instructions. And Lisa's very clear about that. Cut that first so you've got your panels cut and then you can start fussy cutting from the remainder of the fabric. I have a big piece of fabric that looks like the moths have really been at it because I've gone all, for the one that I did as the sample, I've gone all over it and taken key pieces out. But you'll still have, I mean, within that piece of fabric, there's still loads left. Hey, you know what you could get? Um, to do like paper piecing and stuff like that because there's still bits of pattern left. No, we've got, we've, oh, oh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Um, oh, we did it a while ago. I'm trying to find it in my drawer of Lisa things. Uh, the Chatelaine. Yes. You'd have, you'd have, have enough, enough to pieces do the to do that. Patelaine, yeah. pattern. It'd be fabulous. Now, um, when you're fussy cutting um, a piece of um, your pattern from, you can do it on the front side. I mean, you can see it on the reverse, but it doesn't matter because you're going to be sewing on it anyway. So you can really look at the bits that you want to um, select. I'm on this one. I'm going to select this bit of stalk, I think. Or oh, actually, I'm looking at this bit with the blue in. I might, I might pinch that bit there. Oh, that nice, gives yeah. a nice pattern. So I'm using the sew line pen because it's got the white chalk mark on it, marker on it. This is the trio marker um, and it will show up quite nicely on here. So you can mark, this is template A and this is from the feature fabric. So you can mark your diamond from your template plastic and you'll need, you need 12 altogether, but I'm just going to do two because I'm just going to make one fan today just to show you how it goes together because you make six fans in total, three for the top and three for the bottom. As Natasha said earlier, it mirrors itself. So, you know, it's one of those quilts that will look equally as lovely either way up on the bed. So I'm going to, I've done that on that one and I'm going to do exactly the same for the other side with this one. And what you can do if you want to, is you can sort of if you were going to use this part here, you could you could trace off a certain element of where you were tracing so that each time you would then line that up with your um, with your piece of fabric. So you're getting exactly the same piece each time. Oh, yeah, clever. Um, I'm just going to um, just let me check that. But yeah, I'm a bit further up on that one. So. I'm just but you going can mark to on your template plastic. Yeah. You could almost trace off the pattern onto your template plastic if you want to repeat if you that wanted exactly. To. So That's quite a good idea, actually. Yeah, so I'm just going to do that now because that one, because this is an uneven piece of fabric, it was a bit further up than the other side, so I've done that on there. So actually, where I'd originally done, that's the, the part of the banana leaf there. So we'll cut that. We'll trace that across. And as I say, if you do it on the front, it just makes it easier to see the bit of pattern you've selected. Um, so that you've got a good idea of where you want it to be. And then, because as Lisa says, you haven't got your quarter of an inch marked, your Creative Grid ruler has the quarter of an inch. It's frosted on your ruler there. So you can then place that quarter of an inch onto the mark, the line that you've drawn around your template, and then you can use your rotary cutter. We've also got the add an inch tool, haven't we? We do, yes. Which we would do. be ideal as well, because if you didn't want to, um, you know, add find a quarter, it, not add an inch. Is that what I said? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's one big old seam allowance yeah, that's there, a Jane. huge seam allowance. Add a quarter. <laughs> Just remember, everyone, Jane's the person I brought mm. in to, to 
put my quilt put right yesterday. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the expert. <laughs> it's she so gave good. me um, <laughs> this morning. She was just like, "Oh right, it'll be a good show today because you're in. Because it'll yeah. be more Jane. It'll be the, uh, the P into professional for you're, us. Today. You're more professional." And I just looked at her and I was like, "Okay, <laughs> no pressure." <laughs> What I'm doing is I'm just gone back and I'm marking the, the final point on there because I don't know if you can see, but that's where the point is. Oops, just not going to the pen. <laughs> that's where the point is. And the quarter of an inch has taken that down quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now put that quarter of an inch on that point and just square off that end of it there because I don't need all of that fabric and it's just going to add bulk in when I come to join all of the pieces together. So I'll just um, cut round this one. I've gone into the salvage a little bit here, but I don't think it matters because it's into the seam allowance, so it's not going to um, show through on the front. When you've got your fabric, you'll have plenty. Absolutely, you, you you do have lots to play with. So you're gonna you you know you're not you're not trying to eke out your fabric at all. When it comes down to it, you will have more than enough. So that's my a part of my um, fan. So those are the two a parts. I'll just put my template on top to remind me that's A. And then B is um, one of the tonals. And I don't think it really matters which one you choose. You're going to use, within the fan, you're going to use one of each tonal. And um, Lisa says you'll want four of each. So if you choose to, you know, you're going to have one of each colour in there. Um, this is the tonal fabric, cut four from each of your tonal coordinates um, from template B. So um, for this purpose, I will cut one. Actually, I think I might want, I'm just thinking the bigger one the to of the tonal fabrics is um, template D and that's the, the biggest part. And I think I might like to have my, just skipping ahead a bit there, I'm gonna have um, D as my pink tonal just because I've got it on my table at the moment and the tonal fabrics you don't have to fussy cut those although with the Lisa Chandler you've got the fan so it's always worth making sure that your fans are all the same way up don't be don't be thinking oh I'll be economic with the fabric here and I'll do one that way and I'll go one down that way because you'll end up with one of your fans upside down um, that's always one of the things to consider when you're doing that. I can't see. I mean, as if we'd, uh, we'd learnt this week. About yeah. About not always flipping uh, these things. It doesn't always doesn't work. Always work. It and it's always, always work. something to consider when your fabric is directional. I mean, with the Aboriginal dot, it's not in a di directional fabric, so it wouldn't matter if you were, if you thought, oh, well, I'll be a, a bit economical with this and, I'll, and then I've got some frugal. from my stash. Fabric frugal. Yeah. And then you've got a little bit left over for your stash. So again, I'm just going to place my quarter of an inch on that marked line. And use my rotary cutter to cut through that. Oh, morning, Naomi. I mean, there's nothing to stop you if you wanted to, to keeping um, exactly the same um, your fans, the, the tonal fabric in exactly the same position in all of your fans if you wanted to. Lisa's um, moved hers around and I moved it around on mine. But you could get quite a nice effect if you kept it all the same. It's entirely up to you. I mean, at the end of the day, it's your quilt, so you can do what you wish with it, in, in effect. So, right, back to, to template B. I'm going to do... <coughs> One with with the orange and one with the blue because I need two of these because they go either side of the fan. So 
um, plaster. You can't see the line. You need to press quite hard sometimes. <laughs> I think actually it's harder pressing on um, on that type of cutting mat as yes. well. I love cutting onto the. Um, this one isn't a. It's not a self healing cutting no, mat. No, and they're softer and they yeah. do they do work. But this one, it's 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 got a slight texture to it, hasn't yeah. it? I have got a home, I've got a chopping board with fine sandpaper um, glued to it. And when I'm doing templates, I put it on top of that so that the fabric doesn't move. You put sandpaper in, didn't you, with the... Um, with the block of the month, the Baltimore oh, block yeah, of the yeah, month. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just stops everything moving and it just um, holds it and makes it easier to... Uh, to see and again I'm just going to take that end piece off just by lining up just because I don't want all of that bulk in the in the seam allowance so you can see now how the fan is starting um, to come together you can just see that there I'm going to do another B template but with the blue or the mauve whatever color you would like to use to describe it I can't remember what they actually call it. No, it's, it's something that you don't expect, I think, that one. Is it um, cobalt or something like that? I don't know. It might be periwinkle. I don't know. What actually is a periwinkle? Is it a flower? Yes. It is, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a sort of a mauvey, bluey colour. It's, <laughs> it's really sort of that colour. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very pretty colour. There or thereabouts. Colour. Yeah, something it's a very a pretty colour. <laughs> Oh, Ali, we're sending you big hugs today, my love. Oh, she. Uh, and Wendy as well. There's a couple of you having pet. Oh yeah. Pet-based um, sadnesses today. Oh, they do put us through it, don't they? Eh? Well, they're members of the family, aren't they? Yeah, and it's just. They are. it's, it's as hard as losing a member of your family because they are a member of your family. So um, yeah, lots of lots of love, and I hope um, yeah. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. We're thinking of you. Yeah. All of that. The other added benefit, of course, of ad of doing this with your template is you've also drawn, if you've done it on the on the reverse of your fabric, you've also got your sewing line drawn. Which is always helpful. You've got a line to follow. Diane said, would it help um, if you add the quarter of an inch um, seam allowance to the template and cut out a bigger template? You could do, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing to it's stop you doing that. It's just to you, that. isn't it? It's yeah, there's nothing to stop you doing that. It's just that if you do that, make sure you mark the quarter of an inch on your template so that you know when you're positioning your fabric, particularly when you're fussy cutting, that you know you've got the right bit of your pattern in there. That's the only thing I would say. Um, right, so... Oh, 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 a periwinkle is also a sea snail. Oh! Yeah, Elizabeth used to harvest them when she was a child. Thankfully, they never gave her food button. poisoning. Okay, um, and Barbara says, morning, late again. It's all right. Thought I would empty a bean bag and wash it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Won't do that again, will yeah. you? Yeah, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> do it in the bath. Uh, that's the best way to do that. Yes. Because then you contain, you can contain those... Little pesky white balls. I'm just going to give this a press. The flutter. Just Freddie had something with a bean bag fill in in the car that um, that managed to split. Oh, ah, oh, everywhere. Still everywhere. I had a puppy that chewed a hole in one of oh, them. Oh no. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> do you know? I think on my ma my um. Oh no. When growing up, we had a great Dane called Magnus. Yes. He was absolutely superb. And I can't remember if it was. Magnus or Emily, I had a real thing for Donald Duck as a kid. I've always loved ducks. Yeah. And uh, Donald Duck was my favourite. And I had a great big inflatable Donald Duck. And they were either Magnus or Emily, they bit it. Oh no. Yeah. And that was that was, was the end of, of my bowls. large inflatable <sighs> Donald Duck. Ooh. Right. So for for um, template C. Da, 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 da. Again, you want 12 of those um, 
<laughs> Rebecca's having From a moment. She says, like, I can't cope with the fan not being symmetrical. You can make yours symmetrical. You can make it symmetrical. You do it. You, you do. You do yours, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> you know, there's no hard and fast rule. You can do more or less what you like. I'm going to take that into the black down there. I'm, this fabric template C again is from your feature fabric. I'm going to change that to the. This is the beauty of these trio pens. You can change your marker. I'm changing that to the white again so I can see it better on the. I had really good fun with um, Lisa's fabric because you've got the Waratah flowers. Yeah. So you can really pull your templates over those and, and feature them. And there's other key features in there, you know, the fans and other flowers and things. It's really good fun, actually. And it is down to personal preference and taste, yes, isn't it? It's it entirely is. up to you. If that's going to send you, if you're one of these people that just it just all has to be symmetrical, then make it symmetrical and just do different coloured fans in each in each bit yeah. entirely up to you and again it, you are it's your quilt yeah. you can do it your way and we all know what we can cope with because some <laughs> of us are a little bit more OCD than others and, and you know I hold my hand up I'm in that I'm in that category I just some things I can't cope with um, things not being in order or whatever making sure I'm on the line. This is going to be stunning, isn't it? And again, I'm just going to take that, just take that quarter of an inch mark down there, just to take that bit off. And this is where the creative good rulers are so good, because not only is it going to really hold that fabric firm for you, um, but it's also going to give you, on one side, it's sort of highlighted at half an inch, and on the other, it's highlighted at a quarter of an inch. That's why we stock them, because they're just fab, yeah. absolutely fab. i am gone a little bit off here because I haven't got all of, I haven't got a big, pe oh, well, hang on, she mm. lies, she lies, she does lie. So I'm going to look for the same portion that I did the other one in, um, which is about there. But that's it. Oh, Again, as I say, you can, you know, you can mark on your template, mark points of the of the pattern that you want to repeat so that you always know you're in the right place and then everything will look symmetrical. Sharon says, sorry, we can't buy anything on your site in Australia. Then go direct to Lisa. Go direct to Lisa Chandler. She is Australian. She, you know, that's that's where she hails from. We get all of this sent in to, yeah, you know, from Australia. It. And you'll she says the same. Freight is stupid at the moment. So Lisa and I have an understanding that if any of you want Lisa's fabrics from the UK, she sends them to me. And if any of you are watching in Australia, go direct to Lisa in Australia. Um, and uh, and just get it direct from direct from source uh compare with the same price in you know in in currency yeah you know in, in your own currency it all works out the same so um so yeah there we go um elizabeth says i have an upside down light switch in my bedroom and it made my carer physically squirm <laughs> Oh, her fingers kept twitching and everything, bless her. Uh, it's funny, isn't it, what sets people off? It is It is funny what that's going to be. How's that going, Elizabeth? Is, have you, because uh, Elizabeth managed to find a care that sews. Oh, that's yeah. perfect, isn't she it? She was going to introduce her to the Natasha Makes family. Oh. As long as she didn't make us, you know, like, late for the show. <coughs> right, so there we go. We've got the... The templates cut out, ready for the fan, and we're going to sew those together now. Um, 
just move everything out of the way, otherwise I'll end up ironing it if I'm not careful. So we're going to sew those together and I suggest that you sew them into pairs and then sew the pairs together. And you can line them up and because you've added that quarter of an inch you shouldn't have any worries about um, whether you know they're going to fit together if you've got your quarter of an inch foot or your quarter of an inch seam allowance but as I say you've got a line I thought my machine wasn't threaded then I was like oh <laughs> um, what is going on oh, you've got a line that you can follow because you've, you've drawn around that template and then added the quarter of an inch I think on unusual shapes that helps. It does. Yeah. It really does. Oh, Jenny said that you just put one of your fans in your scrap pile. Did I? <laughs> I think we'll find it. It's not, gone, it's not gone far. Eagle eyed bunch, this. Yeah. Where were you all yesterday when I was busy <laughs> sewing everything the wrong way around? No one was saying anything then, were you? <laughs> Oh yeah, Rebecca, you're missing a triangle, Jane. She'll get it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Where did I throw it? Threw it in here. There it is. Thank you, guys. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. See. So, um, I think. Oh, Jenny says hi. I did. Hi, Jenny. I didn't see your message yesterday. Aww. Oh, Lo says you were shouting. They were all shouting at me yesterday. Right. Trouble is, I can't always check the messages and so I should have just checked the messages. Join <laughs> the fan and wedges into the semicircle to do this. Sew together in pairs first, then join those to the centre wedge. Stitch only the st on the st stitching line, leaving the seam allowance open at the ends. Take care not to stretch the sides of each piece as they're cut on the bias. Press and set the seams before opening them up. Press the seams carefully open. So you get a really nice flat finish to the fan. This also helps you um, you end up with less bulk. Oh okay. In the in the middle where the points all join up. So that's those two. I'm gonna join that one to those to that one. I have only um, sewn on the line that I've drawn as well. This is something else that it says in Lisa's pattern. Leave that seam allowance at the top and don't sew past the point at the bottom. Right. This will all become clear when we get to the next step. Curious. It's quite, it's a bit alien for us machine pieces because we tend to just gung-ho sew from one end to the next. Yeah. Um, if you're a hand piecer, you'll know about why you leave the, the bit at the top and the bottom. It just adds, it helps when you're turning seams through because we're going to applique this fan onto the background um, block. So, um, you need to have that seam allowance so you can turn it under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm starting sewing on the line that I drew. And this is probably why Lisa's not added the seam allowance onto her template. Oh, okay, right. Because of this not sewing it straight from the top to the bottom. Just when you're opening your seams, just keep your fingers out the way of the iron, obvious reasons. Mm. And I'm going to sew that one then onto there, so I've got a three. I'm just lining that up. 
can't see the sew line on that banana very well with the white so I'm going to turn it over and sew it the other way up just because I can see the sew line no other reason just so that I've got it <laughs> Lo says that Jeff would say he could probably hear me shouting fishwife voice <laughs> um well I mean he's a brave man though what can I say a very brave man He probably knows how far away he has to stand when he says stuff. <laughs> yeah, just retreats. Yeah. Jane, is it me or is it cold in here today? It is cold. I think it's a cold day today. We've been lulled into this, everybody saying, oh, we're going to have a fabulous hot bank holiday weekend. Yeah. They lie. And actually, it's cold today. <laughs> got a bit of a shiver on like, oh. <laughs> either that or we're both coming down with something with this cough and then it's feeling cold don't no. say anything don't say anything no 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 <laughs> there says you can run but i love a moving target <laughs> <laughs> yeah poor jeff <laughs> You can, of course, pin your pieces together. Oh, yeah, that, that old chestnut. Yeah, you know. That old pinning thing that people like to do. All right, Myra, she says it's boiling here in Dumfries. Thanks. <laughs> They're having nice weather actually, aren't they, up there? Because um, Inga's just come back and said, She's lovely had a it lovely was. time, hasn't she? Really lovely. And that was where Amanda was as well, and she was saying how what lovely weather they'd had and how hot it had been. She said, we, They always go to sort of Scotland that way, and, and um, she says, We usually, you know, pack for rain. When's yeah. mosquito season in Scotland? It's about now, isn't oh, is it? it? Yeah, when the midges. And do they go for everyone or do they do they have favourites? I don't know. I don't know about you, but I tend not to get bitten. They, they love Glen. I obviously don't taste very nice. Yeah, no. I, no, I don't think I taste nice either. But um, they seem to swarm around Stephen. Yeah. Um, I think it's his hair wax that he uses. <laughs> Honestly, you know who's who's that kid in Charlie Brown that has oh, like the fug? Yeah, pig <laughs> above pen. his head, pig pen. That'll, be, that'll be steam with midges and stuff. Oh. Like, what is going on? Really happy to walk next to you. Uh, just don't let them bite me. We um, we stayed in this lovely place in Italy, and we were we were like, oh, it's going to be so glorious because it's on the edge of a lake, and it it was going to be really nice. And we hadn't. Worked it in the midges. Nope. And we got no aircon in the room, but we couldn't have the windows open at night because of the midges. Oh no. And they they even bit me that time and I was like, Oh, oh. this isn't on. Yeah, yeah. We do not like this. Right, so that's your fan. You can see, I don't know if you can see on mine, but the points come together there. Nice. But you're gonna have a gap here, and this is your seam allowance. Okay. So don't panic if it's because you you might be expecting it all to come together down there, but you don't. You need your happy seam allowance in the at the end there. You're going to cut from your background fan fabric. You're going to cut two pieces. Um, the measurements are in the pattern. Um, you've got two that are slightly smaller, and four that are slightly bigger. Right. Okay. So the smaller ones, you want to find the middle of the fan, mm -hmm. uh, middle of the block. And just do that by, you know, doing a little crease down there. And fold your fan in half to find the middle of that. And line, the, line it up on the middle. Right. But before you um, do all of that, you're going to iron over your seam allowance. And it's just... Because we haven't sewn up to the top, we can do that quite easily. We've got a line to follow and we can just press that over. 
and that will just take that seam allowance in on each one of the sections And again, just be careful of your fingers. Yeah, they're kind of important, aren't they? Oh, Karen says, I'm hoping the sun returns too. I'm trading for four days this weekend. Four days! Ex oh, wow, because it's chemicals. bank holiday weekend, yeah. isn't it, of course? I have my wardrobe planned, but wasn't thinking about cardies. Come back, sun, please. Well, it's supposed to, isn't it? We're supposed to be having really nice weekends. We are camping this weekend. Oh, maybe it's kids. not going to be so nice there. <laughs> Usually. It um, um, so. Oh, you'll have fun, though. The kids won't care. Will they? They won't care about getting wet and muddy. They'll love it. Um, I'm debating taking the dogs. I don't know if that is a step too far. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, <laughs> just... Mm. No, you'll have great fun. They'll love it. Now, I think, you know, the forecast is good. The forecast is good for this weekend. We're going to be positive. We're going to say we're going to have sunshine. This is the last day of the weather. It's going to be good. Oh, apparently Marmite. If you eat Marmite, midges don't like Marmite. Oh, right. I, I love, love Marmite. Marmite. <laughs> yeah, do. <laughs> What, what have we been talking about the other week? And I went, uh, oh, the uh, cheese and marmite bread and butter oh, pudding. Oh, made some, didn't I you? went and, and made some like, straight after the show. She and gave uh, me a bowl and then I went back in the kitchen and I was like, is there any more? <laughs> Can I have some more, please? <laughs> in fact, Jane, we've gone just over an hour without much mention of food. <laughs> well, it didn't take long, did it? This morning. We've didn't done well. Um, so, as I say, with the smaller ones, you want to find the centre. So you fold your fan in half and then line it up and you can hand stitch this down or and I'll show you this in a moment you can um, you can do a machine do it by machine and you could either use your buttonhole but I'm going to show you a stitch on the, this machine that we've got here that gives it quite a nice effect now with your longer piece mm -hmm. these go I don't know if I bring the pattern down these go here and here at the sides. Now, if I don't know if you can see, there's more room on this side. Right. It's quite close there. So it's set off centre. Now, just think about this. Make all your fans, place your four square, um, rectangles down of your larger ones and place your fans on there because some of them are going to be facing that way. So think about that how you want the oh, fabrics yes. to go and how yes, you want yes. your fabrics and everything. Um, and also, I got myself into a muddle because I'd got in my head, even though I'd been looking at the pattern and read through all the instructions, I got in my head that the larger side went towards the middle. No, went towards the edge, so I'm right. sorry. And so I got mine all muddled up. But oh, it doesn't, it but goes it doesn't. towards the middle. Oh. Oh. And Lisa tells you quite clearly in the instructions <laughs> which way you're yeah, supposed to do it. Yeah, but what you it. read and what you see yes. and what you... Yeah. So the outer fans are set on the 22 and a half inch wide background piece. Refer to the image of the pattern cover. The centre of the fan of the four outer 22 and a half inch blocks are positioned nine, in, nine inches in from the short side raw edge of the block and aligning with the bottom of the block. Keep this in mind as you set these blocks up, half or upside down. See, she tells you quite clearly. <laughs> so, nine inches in from the short side to the middle of your fan. So, you've got your middle point there. You place your nine inches from the ruler there and you can see that comes to there. So, you can see there's quite a big gap there and there's quite a short gap there. Now you need to make sure that you line the raw edges of your fan with the raw edges of your um, block, mm -hmm. your background block. You might find, and you can see it on mine, it goes up a little bit there. I'm just going to pull that down just slightly. You have got a biased edge, but just remember you just, you're taking a quarter of an inch off this. So if it comes up a little bit like this one does, about an eighth of an inch, I'm not going to worry about that. That's okay. It's as long as it fits within the seam allowance. Yeah, sure. And you will need to pin this 
um, in place. As I say, you can do it by hand. No, I did it by machine for quickness. Applique stitch, um, st stitch it down um, with the hands with your hand sewing. It's quite easy I'm to do. I'm getting better at my hand sewing. I'm getting quicker. Yeah, for sure. I'm really pleased that. But I'm But it's doing quite a nice. Um, it's quite nice actually to do a bit of hand sewing. It's a you know a little bit of mindfulness. And if we are having lovely weather, you can sit in the garden and do. If it if if Jane if when we're having when lovely when, lovely weather when this we're weekend, having lovely bank holiday weekend weather. You can take it outside and do a bit then, can't you? <laughs> Rebecca says I'm having another moment off centre. This might not be the quilt <laughs> pattern for me. Right, have a look, have a look, have a look, because it does come up symmetrically in the end. It does, because it's all <clears throat> because Lisa's designed it in such a way. It sits, yeah, above so, the panel. Yeah, it's it, it does sit above that panel, and then you've got um, a little a little strip of diamonds holding it down. Yeah, so, yeah. you're all right. It's you're all, all right. You'll be fine. Just breathe. <laughs> Just <laughs> breathe. <laughs> it's, I if I can cope with it, Rebecca, anybody can, because I am terrible if things aren't symmetrical and in line and all of that <laughs> malarkey. I'm just... I'm the world's worst. Right. So the machine stitch I used on this machine, it's called. I think it's called a blind hemming stitch. Yes, it is. And um, I'm just looking for it now on here... It's 030. So I just move this over till I get 030, which is there. Now, I don't know if we can see. If we go closer, can oh, I oh, turn, oh, we can, if we I can can turn the machine? No, we're not going to get it. I don't think it's still too high. It shows me on here the diagram and the um, amount of stitch. And it's the zigzag bit that you want it to go. Um, quite shallow because you only just really want it to catch in and you can line it up um, <clears throat> with the edge so it does like and I'll, I'll show you now it does like a straight stitch and then it just does like one zigzag that just holds the edge of the, the fan down and if you do it in a colour that tones in I mean, I use a creep, the my neutral. I suggest that you do a little bit on a scrap piece first, just so that you get the idea of where it sits as you do it, because you the want nice, yeah the nice thing you about want the, the line the line stitch to go against the edge of the fabric, and then the little zigzag just goes into the fan just to hold it down. And the nice thing about the NX is that with the display, it shows you kind of in real time where you are in that stitch. Yes, it as does. As well, which is really nice. So you can always check back <coughs> and see. Um, I don't have the NX at home. Mine's a Janome and it has a similar stitch. And I think most machines will have, not the, the very basic ones, but most machines will have the blind hem. Um, speaking of the NX sevens, we are due in the next couple of weeks to get one more refurb in. That's all they can offer us at the moment. They are so short on machines. And it will be one that has been one of their Shop X Demo ones, so barely used. Yeah, so very well taken. So if you are interested in that, please let us know. Um, so there shouldn't be... I know there was a bit of a let, wait for a few of you, um, and you were really patient um, about getting your NX7s, just because there was the odd part. Because they send them out basically like new. They're all fully, fully re reconditioned before they go. Um, but they just couldn't get the part. Well, they were on that container ship, weren't they? Yeah, they were stuck yeah, yeah. in the Suez Canal. It made me laugh the other day because they reported that that ship had, had gone back now and was going back up the canal and had, had gone through the canal without any problem. <laughs> and oh. I thought, that poor captain of that ship. <laughs> Do you think it was the same captain? Come on, would you put the same guy oh, in You charge? wonder, don't you, whether he maybe be on gardener's leave. <laughs> Think, go and think about what you've done. Yes. <laughs> go and sit on the naughty steps. Yeah, huh? absolutely. It's 
You could use a buttonhole stitch, for the, you know, the, the blanket stitch. You could use that for this and make it more decorative. You could use one of the really fancy decorative stitch and make it a feature of, of you know, stitching your fan onto your fabric if you wanted to. You can do anything really, can't you, when you're doing a plique, you grinding it down. The world is your, I'll, um, if we go close up, I can show you then how this stitch has, has worked into the, into that. We can go up. I don't know if you can see it, it's just done um, a few about four stitches there and then like a little V stitch and along. And I probably would have chosen um, an orangey colour possibly, but even with the, the cream, you can't see it obviously. And by the time you've had it quilted or quilted it yourself, you probably won't even notice at all. But as I say, have a little play with a bit of scrap fabric and, and just adjust the, um, on here it's the zigzag bit that you're adjusting. Um, just to make it and I've a, actually you take the number up so it's it's on four on this which is quite a shallow stitch mm. so you know your machine so just have a play with it and that's yeah that's Myra says I want a new part for my fan oven told up to three months delivery apparently it's gonna be from Mars it just is the way it is and yeah. then you throw into that everyone being pinged there's a shortage of delivery to honestly absolute nightmare yeah so the next little element I'm going to show you is the um, is this part down here that just uh, is that little bit of patchwork on the side there um, it's just squares within and again there's a little bit of fussy cutting that you can do there um, and again I've made a template with um, it's a three inch square so I made a template and I just I've taken just the cloud element out of, out oh of that nice. just because I can <laughs> Um, you're going to need, it's all in your instructions, but obviously I only need two because I'm going to just show you the one panel for now. And you'll need squares from um, your uh, coordinating fabric, I think, as well. Yeah, one of each. And for your um, coordinating squares, you don't need to worry about fussy cutting those unless you want to have, but again, it's the fans and they're on point. So you're doing a square like that. So when you're cutting it, just be aware of that with your fans. You just might want to make sure that you are getting your fan in the middle of the square. But because this is the Aboriginal dot and it's, it's, it's not got any um, right or wrong way, I'm, um, I'm just gonna cut. You're just gonna go for it, aren't you? I'm just gonna cut a square. I'll put my rotary cutter down somewhere. <laughs> Work tidily, <laughs> people. Safe Work place. tidily. Do you know what? <laughs> I've started putting everything in the in the rotary tidy, which is fab, and you can fit so much in yeah. it. I'm really enjoying it, and then I forget that I've I've got it, and, yeah, and I and spend I ages like, looking for the that stuff now? that I've tidied away. I'm just going to do one of each colour of the um, coordinating fabrics. Very nice. And it just it's going to pull that colour all the way through the quilt. It's going yes, to be lovely. Yes, it's going to look really lovely. Normally I would have prepped this, but I was having so much fun helping with the half metre heavens that I completely... Sorry, that's totally no, my fault. No, I don't think it is your fault. Totally I'm quite, my fault. Um, I just realised, you make sure you use the right size of your creative grids ruler because you want a three inch square, not a three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Come oh, on, Jane. Oh you're, dear. you're the professional no, amongst us this no week. Pressure this it must week. be catching. <laughs> there must be something in the air in the studio, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's something, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know it just shows we're human, isn't yeah, it? You it know. Is. 
Those have been people that have been shouting at you using the wrong side of your room. Not that I've seen. Not that I've seen. And uh, and our bunch are normally pretty eagle-eyed. Yeah. I would have reported back, Jane. <laughs> I would have done. It's I always promise. helpful. <laughs> it's always helpful having that extra person just watching you and going, oh, excuse me. <laughs> there we go. So. I've just cut the same colour. What am I doing? Where's my blue gone? There it is. Can't see for looking. Gone colour blind all of a sudden. That is a lovely shade though, isn't it? It is gorgeous. Really is lovely. Concentration. You can hear Real it. Three and a half. Right in. <laughs> through. Oh, I do need from my. What else do you need, Jane? From what can my, we do for um, you? Main fabric. I also need from the main feature fabric. We need four, two four-inch squares for the the column. These oh, can nice, be fussy yes. cut, and they're not on point. Go with a nice big. Make sure you don't put anything else that you're going to cut through there. We'll go over there and we'll, ca we'll capture that bit of leaf. I think that's what we'll do. Oh, is this for the the top square? Yeah, you get a, a square at the top and the bottom, and in. in do you want to show actually, Jane? Just. Show us which bit you're doing so that everybody knows. It's this square here on that bit there. And you can see on Lisa's you've got a lovely circular flower yeah. thing that you can fussy cut that looks so that's, really nice. That's why, um, Rebecca, that's why the fans are slightly offset to, to allow it takes, for that. It accommodates that part of yeah, the um, yeah, yeah. in there. So that's a four and a half there. Probably not. You will have in your in your fabric. You've you've got more than enough to get all of the same the same parts. I'll go with a different colour. So this, because it's like, I was trying to work out why it's larger, but of course it's because it's got to accommodate for the point. others being yeah. on point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and you've oh, got... Clever, clever. Yeah, it's all part of the design. Um, you've also got your um, sashing fabrics. You will have cut... Um, you will have cut the, the, the large squares and the smaller squares from your sashing fabric. And the larger square, you're going to cut that into um, four across both diagonals. So across that way and across that way. And if you've got a rotary, rotating cutting mat, this that makes life easier, safer for cutting your triangles. Do you want one? It's just oh, it's underneath the quilt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's Everything's nesting. underneath the quilt I know, today. I know, it's, like it's so huge. Apart from me, I would actually be warm if I were underneath yes, that quilt. <laughs> We were a bit envious of Emily this morning, weren't we? She came down and she was watching um, cartoons on the, 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 the iPad and she was wrapped in a quilt and we were just like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, is it? It's not a bad life being two. <laughs> We've got, um, just cut, we're going to need 12 of these all together, I think. So we'll just cut another one. So we've got all of these quarter square triangles and then from the smaller squares you're just going to cut those in half to make half square triangles. 
Do you separate them so that you know which ones are which? Yeah. You can see because they are they're still smaller even when they're even when they're cut, but I would put them on a separate pile because it would be very easy to pick up the wrong one. And if I was working through the pattern, I would probably leave those as squares until I actually needed them and then cut them. Just again, just so I don't get muddled up with what I'm doing. So you're going to take your smaller squares that you've cut and you're going to um, follow the diagram in the, um, and the image of the, of the picture so that you've got the, um, the fabrics in the right order. So you've got the top one is the small floral and then you've got one of your tonal fabrics. Then you've got one of your fussy cut fabrics and then you've got another one of your tonal ones and then another fussy cut. I've run out of table. <laughs> we'll do it this way. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Would you like a bigger studio? <laughs> yes, just make me more room. Larger cutting mat. So this is how the panel goes down, like so. So you've got your small floral your tonal coordinate, your fussy cut from the main feature panel, and then another tonal f um, floral, uh, tonal background one. And what you're going to do is you're going to sew these together in rows. So you're going to put one of your quarter square triangles on either side of the square. And if you, if you place them on your board, you'll see this straight away, how it works. Ah, nice. Yes, yes, yes. So, and what you need to do is you need to line that line up with your square and don't worry about the tail of the triangle because that's your seam allowance. So every time you're lining the point, the, the small point up with the, with the edge of the square. And of course you can do this and you can do it, you can chain piece it. So if you've got all four of your, uh, you, you're making two of these panels. So if you've got all the two panels, um, panels cut, squares cut for the panels, you can really whiz through this bit by chain piecing. Um, and then that final one, because that's going there, the triangle needs to be at the top there. So what we'll do is we'll do this side and we'll chain piece um, those down. So we go back to our quarter of an inch um, oh yeah, don't forget to change your change stitch. Your stitch. We've stitch all done back. it, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, we've all done that. And we can just whiz down these. And you're going to, if you can see, um, if we go close up, Natasha. Oh, 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 sorry. Yep, sorry. You've got that going across there. I'm going to be sewing down this line here. The quarter of an inch part of that triangle is loose on the top there. That's the seam allowance. That is totally normal. Do not think yes, you've gone wrong. Don't think you've cut your triangles the wrong size. Oh, hello. Rona says the second last triangle is the wrong way. <laughs> and there's, like, there's a triangle wrong. Yes, it is. Thank <laughs> you, Rona. <laughs> We're just doing it to test you now. Yeah, it's like we're just Wally. Yeah. We're just going to put in deliberate mistakes and see if you are actually that on the ball. Side. That's it. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> Jane, you're doing a great I job. haven't even got the excuse of drugs th this week either. You were great on drugs. Uh, <laughs> that's not really we anything. Say that, drugs. No, we, we must that no, word. No, 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 no. The algorithm doesn't like that word. No. Um, for your back. Yes. For your back. For my poorly back, which is much better. Again. I went to yes. see the physio I yesterday. You went to the physio, didn't you? Physio yesterday, and she's given me some really useful exercises just to help get rid of that list, little lingering bit of discomfort that's just when I twist more than anything, or if I sit too long. We don't, we don't let you sit too long. No, here, it's do quite we? good actually being here because I stand quite a bit, which is which is actually you more comfortable in your car. No, fortunately, because I can't. I don't like the heated seat. Oh, do you not? I no, love a heated it makes seat. me feel like a wet. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's if so you don't funny. know, there's... <laughs> no. 
Um, <laughs> my new daughter-in-law, um, oh, Charlie. Yes. daughter-in-law now. Yeah. Um, her dad, he's got um, a lovely, like, people carrier type car, and um, he's got heated seats. And, of course, he thought it was highly hilarious to put it on without telling me. And I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, this feels a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> and I said to him, I said, is there a heated seat in this in, in this chair? And he was like, yeah, I just put it on just to see how long it would take you to notice. <laughs> it's like, please switch it off. <laughs> oh, no, I love a heated seat. It just, it's the one thing that just helps relax my back muscles. Yeah. It's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'd be all right if it was just in the back part of the seat. It's because it's in the actual seat part. It's um, quite uncomfortable for me. Yeah, it's a preference thing. Mm. So we're going to press those all um, away from the square. Try not to press the ruler. Move that out of the way. Just popping them back into the position so you can see how they're going. That's um, it's always helpful, I think, if you if you leave them in place and then you can see where they need to be. And that way, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> you'll spot any <laughs> mistakes that you've made along the way. I think it helps if you uh, so with lots of people watching. Yes, <laughs> you keeping know, you, keeping you on Absolutely. track. Absolutely, keep you on track. Keep you on your toes. <laughs> Right, and so then we go again, and we'll do chain piece in this what time, and we're going to place the square against the triangle, and we can line it up into that corner, and we'll go again, and we'll just do the other side. So the one square, again, you've only got one triangle on it. You can pin these. You know, don't don't think you've just you've just got to line them up. I'm just doing it quickly, so you know if it makes life easier for you, then certainly pin it. Yeah, we get a bit gung ho, don't we, sometimes, and don't bother pinning. But yeah, and I think you know because we're trying to show you in the quickest way. You know, which our demonstrations are done quickly aren't they really and I think when you're doing it at home you'll take more time and you'll do bits you'll do sections at a time you'll probably do all your fans and then put it away for a while and then do the next bit and you probably wouldn't sit down and make the whole quilt you could I think you could quite easily make this quilt in a weekend because there's so much there's large there's elements, big chunks, big aren't chunks there? that yeah. go together very quickly. Um, so I don't think you'd have any problem. So I'm just going to press these out of the way then. That one goes there. Good, Jane. It's coming together. It's coming, coming together, together. And it comes Sweet. together quite quickly. And it's not, I mean, it looks complex, but it really isn't. And it and it's such a, it's a nice quilt to make. It 
It's a beautiful one, isn't it? Yeah. And I think just that this is, again, this just emphasises, doesn't it, how different a quilt is going to look depending on what colours you pick, you yeah. know? And you, it might be that you absolutely love Lisa's fabrics, but yes. you want it for a different room and that those colours wouldn't work necessarily yeah. and, and that you want, or you want it for, um, you know, just a, a different demographic. Yeah. So you're now going to sew these to here. So you're offsetting, the triangle goes against the square, the triangle goes against the square, and because you've pressed the seams away towards the triangle, when you place those together, oh, you've got nest. that nesting nice. element going on as well. So again, I would sew them together in pairs, and then you can chain piece this. Oh, this machine's come and threaded. Oh no! Do I dare tempt it by saying, but at least you haven't uh, you've won bobbin chicken so far. Yeah, so far. <laughs> We're okay. Right, the thread is not going to work because I want it to. Why is it when you're not got any oh, time restriction, right? it just goes boom and it threads and then... That's right, we've got you on a close-up so we can all see exactly what you're doing. <laughs> no pressure, no, no pressure. pressure. Oh, they, uh, I'll tell you what, there you go. Have a little look at the quilt. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Have a there we go, the it's quilt. gone together beautifully. <laughs> First time. No problem. There we are. Right, so. Just, um, making sure that's lined up. And then we can go. Right, so. so are you just are you lining up just seam lining seam. up the seams? and then just lining up the edges just to make sure that everything is. You have to remember that your squares are on point, so you're working on a biased edge, so do take care not to pull them. Yeah, and if you can spray them. Yeah, I mean, using your flatter or your best press is gonna really help. It's gonna help with all of the fussy cutting with the fans, um, and with your squares that are on point as well. Um, Lisa and K Fabric is pretty good to work with. It's a good base cloth, but even so, when you're working on a bias, you don't want too much movement. So the flatter and all the best press is really gonna help you with that element. Perfect. So those are joined together into pairs. I'm just going to press those open. Does it? Does um? Does the pressing matter on this? Not really. No. I mean, if you if you wanted to finger press it open, it would work just as well. Um, what I would say is that you will need to press it. Give it a good press when you've finished doing all of it, um, before you start putting it into the into the um, into the quilt you know when you're putting everything together because it's all been um, it all fits together so beautifully you really want to be sure that it's all flat and, and, it, and it'll fit together better then so I'll put that one onto there and then we'll put <coughs> join the others to it Cool. I 
think if you press as you go as well you can be sure that everything is fitting together so you know if you've got any points that aren't quite as as matched up as you'd like them to be you can unpick at that point and you see what freaks me out is the fact that it goes at kind of 90 degrees when you put it together and that always feels yes to me it like, looks a little what? bit how odd. is this going to work it does look a little bit strange when you're doing it because it's not it's not intuitive is it no that is gonna look fabulous yeah quite liking this colourway, I have to say. We did have fun choosing it. We did. Oh. <coughs> and so then that part then just goes on to there. I'm just checking, making sure I've got my in the right order. because it It's would not be quite symmetrical. I mean, Rebecca will be um, <laughs> having conniptions <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I think maybe Rebecca, it might not be the quilt for you. <laughs> <laughs> Have we all come to that conclusion? Yeah. No, actually, I because I'm a bit, I get I get Rebecca completely. I'm a bit like, oh, but I once I got over that initial, I was I really loved it and actually thought ah, this is really clever how this has come together and and it becomes symmetrical. Yeah, it does. It really does. because it mirrors itself either side of the central panel, which is she's brilliant. She's a clever bean. She is. She is. Anybody who thinks she knows bean. what she's doing. I know, right? <laughs> and then you've got your small triangles, which you will then place on the end, like so. And again, if you want to, the, the best way to make sure they're central is to just um, fold the triangle in half with a little finger press, so you've got a little crease in it and then take your square and fold that in half. Just remember that you've got a seam allowance going on in there. Fold that in half and then you can place the triangle, the two creases together and then you'll know that that's in the middle of your square. Perfect. And you will find that it will overlap at the edge and that again is your, is your seam allowance so don't panic that you've cut your square too big and it's not right. And then you'll press that one away. And then you'll do the same with this one, this side. Oh, it's not switching, there we go. So you just fold that in half. And just line up the seams there to find the half of the, the square. The centre of the square, I should say. <coughs> and then place those two creases on. And again, you know you've got your triangle in the middle. What level would you peg this at? I, mean. um, I think a beginner could do this quilt. There's a lot of cutting and there's big pieces of cutting, so that might put people off. But if, if you've got your big easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I used my big easy this morning to cut, yeah. particularly to cut these pieces. Fantastic, because it's 10 and a half inch wide Perfect. element and it's a 12 and a half inch ruler. It's brilliant. Um, so you'll have that and then you, you sew your square onto the end. So you'll have your two triangles sewn on and you'll sew your square onto the end. And that's the panel that then goes down the side of your cut panel and then your fan sits atop, on top of it. If I just sew this square onto here, I'll just show you how the fan will sit on the So you'll have your um, main panel, you'll have sewn a piece of sashing either side of this as well. And then you sew your main panel, your feature panel onto that. You place a piece of sashing onto the top of there and then your fan sits on there like that. Beautiful. So you'll have 
your sashing strip between there as well. So you can see that this element sits under that blank piece. Yes. So Doesn't it, pull those it colors features, beautifully? features the fan nicely. I think that looks that's going to look lovely, isn't it? That colour combination. It's really light and warm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you've got the brightness of the white to just make it go yeah, pow. Yeah, just comes together. Stunning. Yeah. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So things. those are the Thank key you. elements, really, of, of this quilt. That is just the fan and, and this. The rest is just panels yeah. and sashing. Straight line sewing. Straight line sewing. Straight line sewing and yeah. cutting. Lovely. That's it. Perfect. Oh, Makes Jane, a thank really you. good size quilt. It is, isn't it? Without, yeah, like you said, yeah. you could still do it in a weekend. Um, just one thing, the fabric bundle we've got doesn't include the binding. No, no, no. So no. if you want to, um, I use the small floral, or you might want to use the same as your sashing, or you might want something else completely, but you'll need half a metre. Perfect. Half okay. a metre, is that all? Yeah. Oh, cool. Eight strips. Eight strips. Perfect. Jane, thank you so much. You're very um, welcome. It is the last week of the month which means that uh, we have a Friday show. Now, normally oh, we yes. would get a guest designer in, but a um, couple of things. I'm due to actually go away with the kids that day, and um, also everybody else is kind of away. So what we decided to do instead was launch the first of our Pay It Forward projects. Oh, it's a lovely. really simple, easy project, and I've been absolutely overwhelmed by the number of you that have... Um, that have taken us up on this uh, and it, it's it's absolutely fab and then we'll um let you know what well we'll have the kits ready for next month because we're going to do this as a monthly thing yeah um and so it's just going to be an introduction so that anybody that's missed the ethos behind it and everything we can catch up on that yeah um so it's not going to be mega mega long or anything like that because like i say these are going these the ethos behind these are quick easy simple makes that any level can do yeah. uh, that means that you can then pay that forward to um so and and it just has to be like um to do a good basically to do a good deed and yes. and if that means that you've sat down and you've made it with a grandchild and you've um given them a lovely time doing it then that's absolutely fine if with tomorrow's we're going to make uh do bibs and makeup wipes and stuff like that um and then you want to give it to a woman's refuge because at the moment they are you yes, know, they're in very need, busy. Then, um, you know, then absolutely, you know, let's do that. As long as it, or maybe you've got, you know, a new mum in the road or something. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah. You'll it's a know. Good but ice just, breaker, isn't it? Yeah. Pop round with a absolutely something nice for the baby. Absolutely. So that's that's the idea behind it. Um, and so yeah, so do join me on Friday, and we'll have a little play with that. And you can sew along. So along with me, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, fun. lovely. And, um, and then on Monday, it is our cave show. But I've got something to tell you on Friday. So, um, yeah. Exciting. Do join us. Yeah. And then next week, Jane, it's block of the month, isn't it, it for is. you? Yeah. It's come round quick. First of September is the Wednesday. It's like, actually, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're block yep. of the month in again. Yep, 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 yep. Lovely. So there we go. Um, yeah, guys, thank are you. available, aren't they, for the block of the month if people are buying... Oh yeah, if you wanted to double, uh, you know, so that if you're buying something, something today and you want to pop this kit it, in yeah. and um, just have have your one postage, then you know you can absolutely do that. And then you get the chance. Well, actually, no, with the bank holiday, it won't be there in time. No, I think the post uh, postal service is suffering a little bit, like all other businesses, aren't they, with COVID and all everything. Yeah, they else told us last week they were so overrun not to bring any of our posts <laughs> in. I'm like, can you actually tell us not to bring our <laughs> post in? Uh, okay then. So, <laughs> which doesn't help. No, it but doesn't. There we it's go. like, um, excuse me, we've worked really hard to get these orders all packed up. Oh, we can't dear. not post them now. No, I know, I know. <laughs> Julia says that the first, her first ones are going to a baby born this week. Well, oh, that's just exciting. perfect. That's exactly how where lovely. we want it. Yeah. Good, 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 good. All right, everyone. Um, you lot take care. Have a fabulous day. Um, Hopefully it's nice and sunny and warm where you are. Yes. And um, we will see you on Friday. Okay. Well done, Jane. You Thank are a you. total pro. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a wave. Bye. Bye.